Hi there, this is Tafakar Initiative and welcome to our channel. Tafakar Initiative is a Kenyan NGO that supports the integration of technology into education. In today's video, we'll be looking at digital literacy. We'll be looking at what it is, what it means to be digitally literate, and also explore one of the online platforms through which one can be able to achieve digital literacy. Stick with me and let's see what we discover. So what is digital literacy? Digital literacy is defined as the ability to find, evaluate, utilize, share, and create content using information technologies and the internet. When someone is digitally literate, they are able to understand computers and IT. They can use this to create content such as documents and videos, and they can be able to share content with others. In addition, they can be able to go online and find resources and content on the internet, evaluate such resources for suitability for their needs, and also integrate such content into their activities. To be able to explore digital literacy, we'll be looking at Microsoft's digital literacy site, and we hope that you'll find this journey informative. One of the resources through which you can be able to attain digital literacy is the Microsoft Digital Literacy Platform. To be able to access it, we'll use our web browser. In, which, in this case, I'm using Google Chrome and I will find its icon on my desktop and double click on it to open it. And once it opens, I will type Microsoft Digital Literacy. I was there before, so it's out of filling it for me. So I will, I will click the right arrow and then type enter. So here we land on a, on a results page from Google a search results page which gives us links to the site. So we can see here Digital Literacy Microsoft. And we'll click on that link. And it brings us to a landing page for the website. And here basically there are various language options because this is meant for a diverse audience. We can see Arabic as well as other languages such as Portuguese, as well as German and French. So we'll choose UK English. Once you select the language, it, there's a variety of options on the page. We can see a link to start the course. There's a description of who the course is for and also the chance to earn a certificate. So the certificate in question looks something like this. So once you're done, you will take a test and, and the certificate will come out in your name with a certificate number that is unique to your certificate. So right, let's get to the site and see what we discover. So let's start the course. Right. So we land on a page with content and you can see in this window, there are various uh, parts. We can see a screen where a video will be played. We can see links to the on the right of the page. You can see information about the course itself. We can look at the course content. We can also look at resources such as Microsoft Office. And also, coming back to this, we will find a menu where we can be able to see the course content and the videos that we want to play. The content on this page is actually videos. So we can start with the first video, which is, what is a computer? So let's click on that. And then once that loads on the window to the left, Store we click play. Hardware includes so all let me move it back to the beginning. Computer, such as the and you can it's already playing. So basically, this is used everywhere around us. You will find them at work. So if you find that it's very, very loud, you can come into these icons on the screen. You can increase the volume or decrease it. You can use to, you can use this uh, button with Neto to to show to select the quality of video that you want depending on the speed of your connection. So if you've got a good connection, you can do 720p which is very high quality, but if the connection is not very good, you can use uh, anything like one, anything from 360 to 180p, which is suitable for connections that are not very stable. So this is captioning. This refers to the ability to see words on the screen. So we can select captions on or off. Let's try on. And you see, you can see words that are playing on whatever is playing on, on the video. We can see words on the screen. 
also we can be able to download the video and here it gives us various options we hope you enjoyed watching this video and welcome your feedback so please feel free to leave a comment also please share the video and subscribe to our channel thank you and have a good one